hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today you know always the purpose of our videos is education and uh, you know education always prevent uh, deception and uh, wrong decisions and uh, you know our life is based on decisions like the first thing you do in the morning uh, is making a decision what you want to do first so life is all about decisions and you know uh, for me I speak always about a topic but I don't mind to speak about other topics because at the end of the day our social life is connected to many things not only one thing if we try to learn about a religion these days we have a very easy method which is the internet which is something you know I don't have when I was a kid uh, this is something new you know and I call it new even though it's like uh, exist a while ago but I mean we have many many generation passed before us and they have no idea what this internet is about and now we can just type two words in Google and we can find thousands and millions of answers so if I ask a question if I type in Google a question about Islam questions about Islam I will find endless videos or website made by Muslims speaking about uh, like uh, trying to teach you what Islam is about but the question is can we trust those websites like I was uh, clicking here and I was laughing at, at the deception and the lies you see I don't know much about Hindus but I'm very sure that if we ask a Hindu especially if he is a religious man let us say I call him a Hindu priest he will not lie about his religion even though I don't believe in his religion but we accept or we we assume uh, decency when we speak to somebody he is a Buddha I think it's the same he will not lie and fabricate answers when we speak to somebody is a Christian whatever sect it is we uh, you know we assume the same because there is no point of lying why you want to lie but the case on Islam is different and today we are going to prove it to you as usual now which is a uh, which uh, website Muslims you recommend me to open for you from all those websites and I guarantee you I will expose the lies in those websites it doesn't matter what website you give me who is a Muslim in the chat he want to choose from me I just type Islamic questions and answers Islam questions and answers which website you want me to open for you all of them have zero decency all of them they are made for the purpose of deception and we can take them one by one you see you ask Islamic questions and answer this is what I did in Google you can do the same you can search for the same thing I'm not picking up like the first one we can go to the first one you want the second one we can go to the second one third one for what what do you want 50 questions and answers about Islam just ask Islam actually I click at this one never open I don't know what's wrong with it uh, islamcity.org islamic quiz uh, ask an imam 115 question answered alsunna.org islamic questions and answers questions and answer I mean which one all of them are the same deceptions and lies is the main positions of those questions sunnah. Hmm. here you will find a very silly questions about like uh, which one I should teach my 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 children's first how to pray or uh, or uh, uh, to believe I mean how you can teach you look at this which one I should teach my children first believe or prayer eh. I'm not going to go for those. I want to. I want to. I want to find a website telling us about Islam, not silly questions like those. Because Muslims are the best with silly questions. Like, can I add? Can I eat ice cream with my sister or with my girlfriend or my wife, or she will become my sister? Okay. Uh, can and, and he will. The website is in front of us. 
I mean, why do you want to give me a website? This is the top website in Google. The tip, the top website in Google. Asking. This is the website. I N G. Okay. Answer answers to frequent ask questions about Muslims. Our topic is not Muslims. I don't really talk about people. I talk about religion. But let us see here. You see, the title is deceiving too, because the title is supposedly about Muslims, but here they are talking about Islam, nothing about Muslims. So look at this. We affirm, we affirm that supposedly the Muslim saying, we affirm the uphold, uphold and uh, 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 sensitivity of the human life, the taking of which is among the gravest of all sin. Uh, well, well, Muslims they don't, uh, you know, they don't take teacher equality. What equality? We will see. We will go to the equality or the equality in Islam, just in a, in a minute from now. We affirm the right to freedom of thought. That's a big fat lie. A Muslim you have the right of a freedom of thought. Isn't it the Prophet? He says the one who leave Islam kill him. Isn't it the Prophet said, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say that there is no Prophet but me and there is no God but Allah? What What do you mean a freedom of thought? Since when? What if somebody want to be a gay or somebody want to be a, a lesbian? Somebody want to be an atheist? Someone want to be Christian? What a big fat lie. Uh, one life, who the profession and residence, I mean, this is not true. You see, the lifehood and residence, Muhammad, he, let us go take one by one. Let us take one by one. The equality and the quality. Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from punishing, from punishing a Muslim who killed non-Muslim by death. Let us find the hadith. And here we will notice that Islam is a supremacist cult who believe that Muslims are higher than anyone else and the rest are not equal. So look what Muhammad he said. And the one is talking here is not a city website. It is the prophet of Islam, the founder of the cult of Islam, not somebody walking down street and giving you his funny ideas about Islam. I met many of them. They are dumb and they are stupid. A Muslim should not be killed in the case of murder of a disbeliever. What does that mean? Which mean, if a Muslim, he killed me and he murdered me, the Muslim should not be killed. The punishment for a Muslim killing a Christian in Iran is to pay an equal of a price of a cow. If a Muslim in Iran, as an example, he killed a Christian, the punishment is a price of cow, which is less than five hundred dollars in Iran. So when a Muslim they say to us, "We believe in equality, and we believe in human rights, and we believe everybody is equal." And Islam teaches us that all of us, we are mankind and we are equal. This is a big fat lie. Otherwise, here we go. A guy, he's a Muslim. He murdered someone. is not a Muslim. Why? He will not be killed. The punishment for killing in Islam is death. But they will not tell you that this is only if you are a Muslim and you kill a Muslim. But if a Muslim, he kill non-Muslim, the punishment is paying a little bit of money. So look how they lie to us in their website saying speaking about equality and a human right and the freedom of what the guy in the video in the in the in the website he says the uh, the right of a freedom of thought you know uh, let us see if this is true little examination we will get them busted the Quran and the hadith both of them confirm that there is no freedom of thought The Prophet said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. 
So where is the freedom of thought? The guy, he don't want to thought about Islam no more. He have no good thought for Islam no more. So what the solution? Kill him. Why they lie? Why they lie? I can show you tons of reference, including the one it says, the one who say the prophet is a black, kill him. Just saying the prophet is a black, kill him. Because supposedly he is insulting the prophet. <laughs> so look how they lie to us. They assume that you are dumb and you are an idiot and you are stupid and you have no ed education. And now you go to this website. And that, by the way, will work. That website will work with many naive, especially young ones. Don't think this uh, this website will not work. They will, they, will, they will work big time. Because if you go in the media, everybody saying Islam is a good religion. Obama, George Bush, even Trump, just a few days ago, he posted something in Twitter saying, blah, 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 you know, and his daughter, Ivanka Trump, you know, uh, speaking about Ramadan politically correct all is garbage nobody is saying the truth the whole world go mute in the front of the beast the liar the Satan we believe that God created us with diversity and of race religion and language big fat lie big fat lie your God, he says, the religion for Allah is Islam and anyone else is an evil doer and he is the worst of the creature and he is satanic and he is nudges. It does get them busted. Which verse do you want me to read for you, liars? Which one? Huh? All those verses. Are saying that this is not true take one shorter one and if one seeks a religion other than Islam it will never be accepted from him and he is among the losers and here and in the hereafter what about in here life now not hereafter the Quran says kill them wherever you find them if we go to chapter 9 verse number 29 Freedom of thought, right? Mm. This is what they say. Chapter 9, verse number 29 says, Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor the last days. You see it? So why do you want to fight them? Why do you want to kill them? Why do you want to slaughter them? Because they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in Muhammad. They don't believe in the religion of Muhammad. So what we do? Kill them. But in their website, they say, Freedom of thought life with the profession and residence God created us all of diversity and race and religion to know each other there's a verse in the Quran by the way the Muslims they quote it always to deceive you let us show it to you And what the Muslims, they will not tell you that Islam have stages. Muhammad is a deceiving man. When he was weak, he did not talk about killing the Christians and the Jews. You will notice actually the chapter of At-Tawbah was revealed after he finished his war with the Arab. Now I can go and kill all the Christians. So he came with the chapter of At-Tawbah saying, fight those who believe not. From who? From the Christians and the Jews. Here, the Muslim, they will quote this for you. They will say, O oh, mankind, we have indeed created you from one man and one woman, and we have made you into various nations and tribes so that you may know one another. Indeed, more honorable among you is the sight of Allah is the one who is more biased among you. Like when you see, when you see this, you say, that sounds good. But they will not read for you the other verses where it says that if you are not, look what it says. The most honorable for you is who? Is the one who is biased. Who is the bias? The one who believes in Allah. So what about the one who is not biased? Kill him. 
What about the one who don't want to believe in Allah? Slaughter him. What about the one who is not a Muslim? You see here, this says, we made you to know each other. We made you different nations to know each other. Okay. So what about this verse here? Let us see. Let us expose the liars. <clears throat> Isn't it the other verse just said that we made you different nations to know each other? Okay, how we will know each other if the Muslim been taught that they cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friends and the one who take them as a friend which means he don't consider them as enemy no more he is one of them and he is unjust and he is going to be killed that make him apostate do you see it so Quran as a book is a very deceiving because they will not tell you that Muhammad is a politician the politician always what they do they say something in the election day and they do the opposite after they have the office in the time of Muhammad there was no election but he was trying to convince people to join his cult and to make uh, to believe in him as a prophet so in the beginning Muhammad he never talk about killing people he don't have an army to do so so he was gentle he was not attacking he was not waging war because he have to but the second Muhammad he have army and he have a bunch of gang who slaughter everybody in the way Muhammad he changed and he says okay now we kill them now we slaughter them now we do not need to be politically correct with them now we say to them what is in our mind now we say that you Christian you Jews either you convert to Islam or you die And not only that, Muhammad, because he is a gang, not a prophet, he is willing, if you pay him, to let you stay alive. Read with me carefully. Fight those who don't believe in Allah. Uh, in the book of Allah, the religion of Allah, the prophet of Allah, Muhammad. From the people of the book, who are they? The one who is giving the book, the Christians and the Jews. Until either they convert to Islam or they pay the jizya with humiliation. So look here, the mentality of a gang leader, a thief. He say, okay, you know what? I can let you live if you pay me. Isn't it, this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a cult leader? If it is important for Muhammad and his God to believe, why if I pay him I can live and stay not to believe in Allah but this is the only condition to stay alive and to stay Christian I have to pay him with humiliation so if you don't pay me I will kill you so now it's important to believe in Islam or not because you did not pay me but if you pay me uh, hold on I will let you live that is a very clear that Muhammad is the same by the way many people do not know that the the mafia the mafia business is started because of islam when the muslims occupy parts of italy like sicily and uh, malta etc uh, they force this rule on the christians pay for protection protection from who from us imagine we protect you from us <laughs> pay or die so when the muslims they've been kicked out from those territories the gangs, the Italian gangs, the bad ones, the criminals, they took over the business. We protect you and you live. You don't pay, you die. That is Islam. So why they are lying to us and they are saying Islam believe in the quality, equality, uh, uh, freedom of thought, uh, right of belief. I mean, what is this garbage coming from? Where you, where, where, where you, where you, so what we would do with this? What we would do with this?
you cannot find one single statement in this website or any Islamic website have to do with the truth the only website you can find a truthful answer is, is ISIS website they say it as it is they say it as it is this is the truth Al-Qaeda website those are the only one who will tell you what Islam is about the rest they play games dishonesty we believe that Islam is above all religion ah, finally there is something truthful maybe of peace and mercy you see here I thought when they say we are believe in Islam above all religion I thought okay they want to admit now that Islam believe in supremacy it turned not not that case of peace and mercy peace and mercy where is the mercy in the Quran where the Quran says a crucify people cut their hands and their feet from opposite directions why because they are apostate or they are criminals according to Islam what make you a criminal by the way if you wage war against Allah according to Islam right now I'm waging war against Allah so the punishment for me if I live in Afghanistan is to cut my feet my hands and to crucify me and put nails in my eyes and I will show you the reference let us see <clears throat> When somebody come to you with the, you see, always when I talk, I show you the proofs. I never, I never say something without showing you the proof, right? Never. When somebody give you a speech, tell him, don't give me a speech, show me. Chapter 5, verse number 33. The mercy of Allah. Islam is religion of peace. The only reward for those who make war upon Allah and his noble messenger. So what kind of war we are talking about? Refuge in Islam. Because how you can war, how you can make war against Allah? You tell me. How I can really make a war against Allah? When Muhammad, he sent his army to the Roman and he told his men, attack the Roman so you can get the blondie girls. The Roman never attacked Muhammad. Muhammad, he sent the three letters, even according to Muslims, the three kings saying to them, convert or else. So you reject, you don't accept Islam, or you, ex you refuse to pay the, the jizya, the one I told you, where you have to pay with humiliation, then Muhammad will come after you and he will kill you. So the only reward for those who wage war against Allah is what? Is, you know, we kick them out from the land, or we crucify them, starting with killing crucifying crucifying will read to death anyway cutting their hands and their feet from different directions Muhammad himself he practiced that and he put nails in the eyes of those people who he believed they are criminals Islam taught us to know each other let us see how truthful that is Muhammad he said if I am victorious I am going to kick the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula are we lying are we lying so what do you mean Islam mean peace why you want to kick out the Christians and the Jews from what do you think about George Bush he occupied Iraq and he decided to kick all the Muslims from Iraq why it is not right for George Bush to do so if he decide to do so but it's okay for the prophet to do so this is their land why you want to kick them out just because they don't believe in you that you are a prophet women children everybody we kick them out genocide the same as the Turkish they did to the Armenian to the Assyrian to the Syrian to the Christians in all that territory Almost 2 million Armenian they've been slaughtered and until now They don't want to admit that they did it 
So do you see, my friend, how they lie to you? Until now in Saudi Arabia, there is not a single citizen is allowed to call himself atheist, Christian, Hindu, Buddha, whatever. Everybody, have you ever heard of a country 100% Muslims? I'm talking about normal country. So when they say to you, when they say to you anything, please don't listen, don't just don't be a fool. They lie. They lie and it is permitted in Islam to lie. How we can prove that? Christian Prince is saying that Muslims, they can lie. How we can know this is the truth? You see, I'm not attacking the Muslims. I'm speaking about Islam. Islam. Islam is making the Muslims lying. It's a duty for a Muslim to lie. You can go, actually, one of the reasons I called my book, the first book, The Deception of Allah, and then the variant number two, which is called Quran and Science, because all of it is about lying. The miracle of the Quran, the science and the Quran, you name it. Everything there is nothing but a pure lie. And we get it all busted with no mercy. Lying and deception is the business of Islam. I'm trying to open the website of Saudi of uh, of the government of Jordan, but look like it's not opening. I'm not sure why. Let us see why. Yeah, the website is down because I wanted to sh I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, hold on, maybe we can find a video of mine in YouTube speaking about that page and then we can show you the website from before. All right, I think we found something, but we will mute it. That's good. This is a previous video of mine. All right. Let us put it in the screen for you. This is a delay lane. This is the website I cannot open. So we have it now from YouTube. It's a video. All right. And it says that you cannot let not the believers take the non believers as a friends. However, to make it simple and short for you, you can watch the video. I can post for you the link here, so later you can watch it. But anyway, the written what is written there is in front of us. Look what Islam teach their children. A Muslim he cannot take Christians and Jews and etc. as a friends. Very clear, it's open in front of you. All right. And they call us hypocrite. The Muslim, they consider us the hypocrite. We are the hypocrite. But look, Islam is number one hypocrite religion. Take not the hypocrite as friends. Okay? Disbelievers, the Jews, etc. for their friends. As they became mighty and honorable. In a preference to the believers. Who are sincere. Okay? What does that mean? The, the believer who take them and he is sincere, which means there's a Muslim, he is sincere, he want to take you as a friend. What will happen to him? Look what will happen. The one who is seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and be disbelievers as a friends, he has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, mercy, or protection from Allah. Well, a second ago in the website, they were saying Islam is a religion of peace. Islam above all religion, Teach him peace. The guy, he just took me as a friend, and now he have no mercy. He have no protection. He has no honor, which means the Muslim, they can attack his house, rape his wife, take his children as a property, take his money, and execute him. And what is the crime? He just took me as a friend. And in their website, they are saying to us, Islam is above all religion when it's come to peace. And not only that, Read carefully. 
unless unless what unless you cannot take them as a friend unless there's an exception unless it be that you guard yourself against them save yourself from them talking toward with uh, so taken as if it were security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart dislike this have you ever heard of an evil cult more disgusting more than this is that me saying that this is the cousin of the prophet of islam ibn abbas This is the only name Muhammad he named him as a scholar to explain Islam. Even he prayed to Allah, he says, Allahumma ja'ala ibn Abbas habru al ummah. Make him the, 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 the ink, the ink of the scholarship. That is Islam. And as you see, the funny, they are calling non-Muslims hypocrite when Islam teaching Muslims hypocrisy with no shame. Did you notice they are teaching calling us hypocrite? Look, look, we are the hypocrite, supposedly. Do you see it? Take not the hypocrite as a friend. In the same page, it says you cannot take them as a friend unless you are lying to them, speaking to them in a friendly way, but your heart dislike this. Hmm? Look at the Muslims. He's talking about the Christmas. We talk about his cult and he's talking about the Christmas. First of all, my friend, we celebrate the Christmas because people, they left the pagan God and now they believe in the real true God. We are not celebrating a Christmas because of the birth of Jesus, because Jesus is exists before his birth. So stop trying to divert the topic because you are ashamed of what is we are shown in the screen. And please don't celebrate the Christmas. That will not change anything in Christianity. If we have a Christmas, we don't have a Christmas, that will not affect Jesus. You are just being a fool and you are ashamed of what we are showing. This is your worry about now Christmas. Christians will be bad because they celebrate a Christmas, not the teaching of hate you see in front of you. This is what you are worried about because you are a hypocrite. Have you ever heard of somebody want to kill somebody because of a Christmas? In Christmas, children are happy, people are happy. God, he loved to see his people happy, but you don't like it. It's an insult to you to see Christmas. The month of Ramadan just started and more than 80 people get killed in the first 48 hours. An attack today in a Christmas service, and sorry, in a in a in a in a Sunday service in a, uh, what, what the African country, I forgot, uh, Burkina Faso, I think. Few hours ago, they shelled bombs in a Christian village in Syria. Six children die, and more than twelve, they are injured and they lost their limbs. Attack a day before in Pakistan hotel. Attack a day before in a mosque in Pakistan for Sufi. I mean, this is Ramadan. And you are worried about the Christmas, you idiot. Why early Christians don't celebrate? Hey, I will tell you why early Christians don't celebrate. Because they don't have to. And today you don't have to. And you are a donkey. What does this have to do with, uh, with, with, with the Christianity anyway? Why the early Muslim did not celebrate Muhammad's birthday? And today you are celebrating. This is silly. You are just a silly person. And you have no answer. You are the pagan. You are the one who kiss a black stone. You are the one who go around the stone. If a Christmas will make us pagan, what about kissing stones? Why do we kiss the trees? Do we we do we lick trees and we worship trees? We go around them. We bow down in front of them. You are you are a fool, and you are a coward.
Look at the devil teaching. We cannot take each other friends. I like to take Muslims as a friends. Why not? They are human like us. I have no problem to take anybody as a friend. But now I know that I will be a fool if I trust a Muslim because how I know if he is going, if he is practicing what we see in the front of us on the screen. Right? How I know? How I know if a Muslim now is an honest or not? He want to take me really as a friend because if he says I am a Muslim and he want to take me as a friend, well, you are not a Muslim according to the Quran. The Quran says in chapter 3 verse 28 as you see that you cannot take them as a friend and if you take them as a friend you are one of them and you have no protection from Allah. So how we can trust? Uh, Mr. Fadi is saying give me one country implemented the teaching of Christ totally first of all the teaching of Christ is not should be implemented by law Because he did not say so secondly, what about freedom of belief? This is very silly of you Fadi Who told you that Jesus says go and take a sword and the one who don't follow me kill him? That's your prophet so even the questions made by Muslims showing me the ignorance and the little mentality of not understanding not only what God is about and what Jesus is about, but they are trying to compare between the cult of Islam, which is based on the sword. If you don't obey the law of Allah, we kill you. Do you see the stupidity? And same time when you see we did since the crucifixion you Muslims you never practice Islam you are a bunch of liars Which country is a practicing Islam? Right now Saudi Arabia nobody pays jizya in Saudi Arabia There's millions of non-Muslims they work in Saudi Arabia and nobody pays jizya Do you practice Islam? Do you clean your ass with the three rocks? The Prophet says to you that the one who do convert to Islam, he have to do hijrah. He cannot live between the disbelievers. Do you do that? How many million Muslims they live between non-Muslims? None of you practice Islam. Muslim women these days, she wear a hijab and she wear a jeans going all the way inside her with no shame. And she claimed that she is wearing hijab. Who of you practice Islam? Who of you practice Islam? None of you. Music is haram. TV is haram. Pictures is haram. Do you have a picture at home, Fadi? You don't. Uh, uh, here you hope. Let me show you who is the one who do sex without marriage. It is you Muslims, not us. Nowhere in the Bible it says you can do that, but Muhammad, he permitted that. And let us get you busted. This guy is talking about Christian women. Christian women is the one who follow Christ. Is that correct, guys? Christian men, Christian women is the one who follow Christ. You don't follow Christ, you are no Christian. Now let us see if you follow Muhammad, what will happen? Did Muhammad he uh, <laughs> he encouraged Muslim women and men to have sex party? One hour stand, five minutes stand, two minutes stand. Yes, and this is in the Quran and this is in the Hadith. And look what the Muslims they call it. And look what look how they they fabricate the translation. Look, Allah Apostle said, if a man and a woman agree. And they put between two bracket to marry temporarily. Have you ever heard of a religion teaching marrying temporarily? What is that? Temporarily socks, temporarily shoes, temporarily diaper. 
What do you mean marrying temporarily? It doesn't even say the word marry there, you liar. And here they put the word their, their marriage. The whole Arabic in front of me, nowhere it says that their marriage. It says they're 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 living together, their sex. Their sex should last for three nights. And if they like to continue, they can do so. And if they don't want to continue, they can separate. That is religion. Hello? And this is what called muta. Anyone knows what muta I mean? You hire a woman for sex. And let and let me show you how the Muslims explain that. Because this Abdul, he might say, Oh, this is your and you got it wrong. You got it wrong. Christian Prince, you are not being honest. What if I show you that the Muslim they believe that a Muslim he can rent women for sex? Yes, rent women for sex. Let us get them. Anything we show, anything we say, it have to be proven by reference. Let us do that. The four pillars of Muta. Okay, what is the pillars of Muta? Let us see. Let us cut it short. In some work, special term is applied to women who participate in the Muta. Muta is Ijara. Or rented women. Do you see it? Or I'm lying. You have a God who taught you you can have a rented women for sex. And look, the scholars, they are giving us more priceless details about the most decency, a decent cult in the world. Or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. Because in general, a man's basic aim in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman. And in return to his enjoyment of the women, receives certain amount of money or a property. <laughs> and you are talking about decency? I'm not sure if your your mother she was rented to have you before, or you are not uh, the fruit of rent. Are you a, are you are you yourself a fruit of rental contract? How much your mother she charged your father? Was it in dollar or it's haram to take dollars? Did she accept a credit card? Where your father he slid the credit card when he had sex with her? And you are talking about decency. Where is this guy? He's, he's, he's a mute now. Rinto? And you are giving us a speeches about good women, bad women, Christian women? What a stupid cult. Okay, it's dead now. So look how they lie in everything. They say to us, Islam, we cover our women because we believe they are like jewelers. No, you don't cover them because they are jewelers. You cover them because they are a property. And let us prove it. As usual, we don't say things without proof. Who won the website for rental, renting women? Who won the website? So the Muslim, they, if they say to you, here we go, this is the website. Let us see what the Quran says about women. In Islam, we respect women, brother. Islam gave the women their right. Yeah, he gave them the right to be beaten and to be property. Read carefully with me. Chapter 
chapter 4 verse number 34 and we will give you any translation you wish what translation you like Abdul huh? we will give you a kind translation Muhammad Biktal Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel on others and because they spend of their property on them. What? So the reason for the man to be in charge because he spent money on her? This is exactly the mentality of prostitution business. I rented you and we just showed you the reference. There's no marriage in Islam. It's a contract of sex. And then because he spent his money on you, he can beat the hell of you. Read carefully. So good women are obedience. This is the good women. What does that mean? Guard, guardian in secret in which Allah has guarded as for those from whom you fear rebellion. Have you ever heard of a religion teach? If you feel rebellion from somebody, you can punish him. He did not do rebellion yet. This is a precaution. <laughs> Action. Admonish them. And punish them from your bed. The fact it says, which means, and jail them in their rooms. Not stay away from their bed. Like how many bed the man he have those people there jail them they cannot leave as a punishment and then scourge them scourge them and then the Muslim he will make an article saying to oh we scourge women by beating them lightly really how lightly a brother we beat them with the tooth thick why in Islam in the Quran it said you can beat your wife? Twitter, I agree with you. That beating the wife is not a good answer. But you said no, Twitter, that Islam teach us how to beat the wife in a very different way. Another example, we have to beat our women by using tooth stick. Have you ever heard of somebody can hurt somebody by here, but you don't bring tooth stick? Tooth what? Tooth stick? They say to you that we beat them by a miswak. Let me show you how the miswak look like and you will go crazy. They say to you the miswak is little tiny. It's a half inch, half inch. This is what we beat them with. The miswak is a very long roots of a tree. It's not what they say to you. Liars will end in fire. And here we get them busted. Miswak. All right. Let us get them busted. This is the miswak. Do you see it's cut off, right? Do you see that it's it's not one piece? I don't know if you can see in the picture. Let me show you the end. Which means this is a long, long root. Do you see the end of it, how it's cut off? You see it, right? So this is a very long, flexible root. It's not the one they sell in the market, like it's a, it's a half of the size of your finger. Because now everybody, the Muslims want to buy it to do what the Prophet used to do, supposedly put it in his mouth. This is a very long root, flexible. Roots of a trees are very flexible, like, like more harmful than, than a leather belt. And they said to you, we beat them with the muswak, brother. Huh? We just beat them with the miswak. A woman, she come to the prophet of Muta and she said to Aisha, look, my husband did beat me. How he did beat her? He did beat her until he made her skin greener than her clothes. Aisha, she said, and not me saying that, Aisha, the, the, the mother of the Muhammadan. 
she said look at her her skin is greener than her clothes and before that Aisha she said I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing women Aisha she witnessed that the women a Muslim women life is the most miserable life for women for females between all the Arab because Islam teach violence against the women and what Muhammad did at the end of the story he took the side of the man who did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothes and not only that he told the man he told the women he have the right to rape you because this woman she refused to have sex with her husband Muhammad he told her no 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 you have to sleep with him he took the side of the man and he never questioned him about the beating the women and actually in the top he made a verse in the Quran says courage them So my friend can we believe a Muslim telling us anything about Islam I say to you with my expertise studying this cult all my life never ever learn Islam from Muslims for two reasons many of them did not even know what is in their books and many of them they knew but they knew it is the right or their right to lie or they have to lie as we showed you in chapter 3 verse 28 if you want to learn about Islam feel free to get my books from Amazon we have them in many languages amazon.com France Germany Swedish Dutch wherever Spanish and as you see I'm doing my best to share the education now it's your time to download my videos and share them first with your family because your family are the target your children are the target your children they go to school they open the TV they hear Oprah saying Islam is a good religion Obama giving us a speech about the beautiful month of Ramadan every scum back in this earth lying to us nobody is saying the truth nobody is saying the truth and we are victims of deception you don't want to wait until one day your son come back home says hey father I want to be a Muslim as what happened to this poor guy in Australia his son is 16 years old he went missing and then after a couple of months he saw him doing suicide bombing in Syria a beautiful son of him 16 years old kid was deceived by his friends in school and imagine how organized this mafia is they were able to smuggle him out of Australia all the way to Syria and nobody stopped them how you can go there how I can go from Australia to Syria without a passport this is how powerful they are so what we do here is extremely important but not everybody care but we do I'm not going to keep you longer here I want to say thank you for being here don't forget if you like to learn more about Islam subscribe our videos is for free you can get my books from Amazon in any language you wish there's they are exist in many languages it's Spanish uh, German Dutch Swedish and more translation is coming education is the key point of success in life even in a family even in social life even in the medicine without education we have no electricity we have no computer we have no internet we have we have nothing we do not know even how to do farming education is everything so educate yourself not because this is an entertainment but it is for surviving Countries are being destroyed because of this cult. Right now, your airline ticket is a three times more than before because of Islam, because of security. Every country in the world has spent billions and trillions of dollars just for security because of one concern. It's called Islam. Why people don't want to say the truth? This cult is impacting your economy, your life, your lifestyle, your behavior, everything. And you think it's have nothing to do with you you are mistaken 
you are big time mistaken you might you lose job your job because of it in nine in 9 11 almost all American airline went bankruptcy just by one attack if you don't remember go and search Google So what we do is extremely important this video will stay online for a few hours and i will take it down before the sharia law of youtube take it down because as you know they love my videos and they are all over my head so download the video share it as soon as you can before we take it down or before the sharia law of youtube take it down thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and this is a christian prince and i confirm there's only one lord and he is only my savior and no man no name down in this earth no name above better than his name muhammad is nothing but a criminal and he is going to be exposed day and night and we are going to show everybody how satanic he is they like it they don't like it this is the truth and the truth will set you free never compromise saying lies be truthful if Muhammad did something right, we will say he did something right. But he never did anything right. He was a criminal, he was a rapist, he was a killer, and he was a thief. Even his followers accused him that he stole an underwear. And until now, the underwear is missing. If you have any information about this missing underwear, please call Saudi Arabia because that underwear is priceless. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.